Good afternoon, everyone. If, you, if your RCIA director has not checked in in the back, please be sure to do so. RCIA directors, uh, please check in in the back. Uh, taking your seats, we're going to have a pre loop and get started in a few minutes. Thank you very much.
Good afternoon. If, if the RCIA director from Mary Queen of Apostles in Salem is here, um, if you could go to the back to, so that we can make sure that your folks get checked in. Again, if uh, the RCIA director from Mary Queen of Apostles in Salem is here, please go to the back to check in. Thank you very much.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today the Church begins her Lenten pilgrimage to the celebration of the Paschal Mystery of Easter. We are surrounded by Christians throughout the world who gather for the rite of election. And here in this Church of Boston, we rejoice that so many have heard the call to follow Christ as his disciples in the Catholic Church. In the coming weeks of Lent, you will celebrate the scrutinies, which are meant to uncover, then heal all that is weak, defective, or sinful in your hearts. From this healing, the Lord will bring out the strength and, and strengthen all that is upright, strong, and good in you. May these Lenten scrutinies deepen your resolve to hold fast to Christ and to carry out your decision to love God above all. Let us pray. O God, who through you are ever the cause of salvation of the human race, now gladden your people with grace in still greater measure. Look mercifully, we pray, upon your chosen ones, that your compassionate and protecting help may defend both those yet to be born again and those already reborn. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his mouth the breath of air, of life, and so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east, and placed there the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food, with the tree of life in the middle of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord God had made. The serpent asked the woman, Did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree of the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat it, nor even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like gods who know what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes, and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it, and she also gave some to her, to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together and made a loincloth for themselves. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards he was hungry. The tempter approached and said to him, if you were the son of God, command that these stones become loaves of bread. He said in reply, it is written, one does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and made him stand on the parapet of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you and with their hands, they will support you lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, again it is written, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Then the devil took him up to a very high mountain and showed him all of the kingdoms of the world and their magnificence. And he said to him, all these I shall give to you if you will prostrate yourself and worship me. At this, Jesus said to him, get away, Satan. It is written, the Lord your God shall you worship, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Cathedral of the Holy Cross and this rite of election. It's a great joy to have all of you here. Uh, it's an opportunity for us on behalf of the entire Catholic Archdiocese to welcome our new Catholics into our family. In the Archdiocese of Boston, there are about two million Catholics and 260 parishes more or less, and 80 million Catholics in the United States, over 1 billion Catholics in the world. The good news is you won't have to learn all of our names. But we are very, very grateful to God for your presence here today. I also want to express my thanks to your pastors, your sponsors, your catechists, to the priests and parishioners of your parishes, to your families, uh, to all of those who have helped you to come to this day. I always say that being a Catholic in Massachusetts is a contact sport. 
And the ashes on our forehead are the team uniform at the beginning of Lent. So uh, this celebration is always on the first Sunday of Lent, a very special time. Lent for us is a baptismal retreat where we accompany Jesus in his 40 days in the desert of fasting and praying. And it's a time for us to look at our spiritual GPS and to recalibrate if we are straying from the path to, to turn back to God and to deepen our own conversion. Like those sunflower seeds, we have to turn towards the light, turn towards God. This year, for the first Sunday of Lent, we once again hear the Genesis story that we refer to as the fall or the temptation. But I never hear this story about Adam and Eve and the serpent without remembering something that happened many years ago in Paris to Archbishop Roncalli, who later became John the 23rd. And in the United States, the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps is always the ambassador who has been here the longest. But in Europe, the Dean of the Ambassador Corps is always the Vatican ambassador. So in Paris, the Vatican ambassador was Angelo Roncalli, an old very holy Italian archbishop. And of course, as dean of diplomatic corps, he ended up being invited to all these cocktail parties and banquets. And, and, and one evening he was invited to this banquet where, I guess sort of maliciously, they placed him right across the table from a young woman who was wearing a very abbreviated Victoria Has No Secrets dress. And of course, no one was looking at her. They were all looking at the Archbishop to see what his reaction was going to be. And Archbishop Roncalli reached across the table, picked up an apple out of a dish of fruit and presented it to the young woman and said, Mademoiselle, it was only after she ate the apple that Eve realized she was naked. Well, the Genesis story is not really about someone stealing fruit from someone else's orchard, but about that human desire to put ourselves ahead of God. The great commandment is to love God above all else and to love our neighbor as ourself. Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Discipleship is about striving to trust and obey our loving God rather than putting ourselves first. Ash Wednesday, when we receive the ashes on our forehead, it's a sign of the fragility and the fleetingness of human life. It's a time that reminds us how urgent it is. We don't have forever. We have a limited amount of time here on this earth and we have to use it well loving and serving God and others. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving are the practices of Lent. And in the wonderful Sermon on the Mount that we heard on Ash Wednesday, Jesus is talking to us not only about what the actions of Lent are, but how we are to carry them out. He doesn't want us fasting, praying, or performing prayers the way that the Pharisees did in a sort of, you know, spiritual one-upmanship or like, uh, you know, the hyacinth bouquet trying to keep up appearances. No, Lent is about an interior transformation. And the geography of Lent begins always with the desert and the first Sunday of Lent, Jesus in the desert. A few years ago, there was a film came out uh, starring Ju uh, Jodie Foster called Contact. And the story is based on the fact that the U.S. government has this equipment in the desert in the southwest. Remember with New Mexico or Arizona. But they use this, these instruments to be constantly listening in case any signals come from intelligent life in outer space. And the storyline in this film, Contact, was that these scientists begin to hear a signal and they decipher it. 
and the signal is giving them instructions how to build some sort of a spaceship that will allow them to travel out and have a meeting with this intelligent life in outer space. When I saw that film, I thought, this is like a parable because we are called to the desert so that we can hear God, so that we can listen in that silence. And it's there in prayer and reflection in the Word of God that we're going to be able to build that ship that will allow us to have a meeting with God. Mother Teresa visited New England a few years ago, and I'll never forget, thousands of people turned out to see her, and I saw the people lining up because she was giving out this little card to everybody, and I said, oh, I wonder if that's her business card. Uh, you know, maybe it's a email address or a cell number. So I got in line. I thought I'd get one of those. And when I got up to her, she gave me the card. And on it was written, the fruit of silence is prayer. The fruit of prayer is, is faith. The fruit of faith is love. The fruit of love is service. The fruit of service is peace. What a beautiful program for discipleship. But it begins with silence. It begins with listening to God's word in our hearts. It's an opportunity for us to review the gospel teachings, to ask ourselves who we are, why we're here in this world, what is our purpose, what is our mission. It is a call to discipleship and to holiness. Pope Francis says there are two paths to holiness, prayer and community. Being a disciple of Jesus Christ is not a solo flight. It's being part of a community. Where two or three are gathered in my name, Jesus says, I am as in your midst. And Lent is about discovering Christ's presence in the word, in the sacraments, and in community. Jesus is, as he calls himself in the gospel a number of times, the bridegroom. He's never the widower. He does not exist separate from his bride, the church. Jesus is mysteriously present in the poor and in the suffering. I was hungry and you gave me to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me to drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. The right of election is an important moment for all of us. It reminds us that the Lord is calling us. He has chosen us for a life of discipleship together. May this Lent help all of us to embrace our own identity as Jesus' disciples in the church, to live joyfully and courageously follow the Lord in faith, hope, and love. Welcome aboard. Sincero, 
para gritar sin miedo tu grandeza, Señor. Tendré mis manos sin cansancio, tu historia entre mis labios y fuerza en la oración. Most eminent Father, Easter is drawing near, and so these catechumens, whom I now present to you, are completing their period of preparation. They have found strength in God's grace and support in our community's prayers and example. Now they ask that after the celebration of the scrutinies, they be allowed to participate in the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and the Eucharist. Those who are to be chosen in Christ come forward together with their godparents. I now invite the catechumens and their godparents to come forward when their names are called. When their names are called. <laughs> there we go. Mary, Queen of the Apostles Parish, Salem, Sarah Legere, Kaylee Walsh, Yasin Walsh, Seth Farino. Living Water Catholic, Amesbury, Mass. Glenn Jura, Keegan Gorman, Chanel Para, Lowell Para, Wishlip Para, MIT Catholic, Cambridge, Val Vivo, Evan Booth, Kenji Fong, Yu Chi Chen. St. Columkill Parish, Brighton. Sarah Heskett, William Woods, Gail Mauricio. St. Oscar Romero Parish, Canton, Rudy Sachos Reyes, Jr. Holy Family Parish, Dorchester, Hilary Mabel Sabaleta, Sarah Aresili Mondez, Chris Mary Gonzalez, Paulist Center, Boston, Naz Uzemek, Claire de la Coste. St. James the Greater, Boston, Shui Long Zen, Dong Hai Lin, Zi Ying Pu. St. 
St. Antoine de Valer at Corpus Christi, Auburndale. Evan Young Ho Ko Kim, Un Sik Pak, Jun Sik Pak, Bok Yup An, Jin Su Chung, Su Su Young Han, Myung Gong Han, Jae Ho Han. St. Paul's Parish, Cambridge, Kevin Su, Annalise Eppin, Debbie Perez, Yedith Ortiz, Abba Shirelli, Matthias Mayesh, Chris Sedlak, Catherine Airline. Holy Family Duxbury, Michael Wharton. Northeastern University Catholic Center, Anna Arakadian, Devin Johnson, Lindsay Navik, Stanley Sun, Tom Jorko. Living Water Catholic, Amesbury, Glenn Jura, Keegan Gorman, Chanel Para, Lowell Para, Wishlip Para. St. Peter, Cambridge, Ian Grimaldi. St. Mark and St. Ambrose in Dorchester, Janice Tang, Dung Man Huen, Gwen, Nu Tai Huyen Gwen, Tiffany Trin, Dot Tan Vo, Tri Khan Gwen, JC Yu. St. Elizabeth of Hungary, Apple Valley Catholic Collaborative, Georgie Santiago. St. Agnes and St. Camillus in Arlington, Leanna House. St. Patrick Parish, Brockton, Alba Esta Rosario. St. Mary of the Assumption in Brookline, Leo Gadick, James Sibyl, Jonathan Weaver, Evan Wong. St. Catherine Drexel, Dorchester, Ayoso Ihadoro. Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Boston, Morgan Lloyd, Carthikian Pandian, Jacqueline Santiago, Zaris Pena, Andrew George Fultagio, Jared Gentler, Manuel Martinez, Gregory Meja, Kaylee Pena, Jacob Rodriguez, Derlin Bonilla Sierra, Casey Malin Espinal Bates, Devani Gonzalez, Jason Lopez. St. Cecilia Parish, Boston. Brenna Autumn Finley, Ruby Rollins, Helen Shara Davies. St. Mary's Danvers, Ubri Ann Hull. Brockton Catholic Tri Parishes, Josiana Andrade, Jessica Barbosa, Diasani Correa, Monica Dapina, Emmanuel Dapina, Chloe Duquette, Wilfred Duquette IV, Anna Michelle Mannon, Antonio Owen Mannon, Tylee Millis, Solange Pires, Maximus Raymond, Diana Texera, Diana Texera, Mariah Texera. St. Mary, St. Catherine of Siena, Charlestown. Kendall Sarah Couch, Hannah O'Leary. Cathedral of the Holy Cross, Boston. Lynette Cassiano, Ala Guerrero, Jasmine Guerrero. St. Augustine Parish, Andover. Marlena W. Furstenberg. St. Richard Church, Danvers. Rita Najunga. Cathedral of the Holy Cross, Boston. Casimir Daroch. Christopher McCann. Anna Phipps. Daniela Rodriguez. Emily Seth. Benjamin Wasworth. 
St. Joseph Parish, Lynn. Mara Chavez, Milagros Torres Gonzalez, Paula Rosa Rios, Carlos Garcia, Matali Alexandra Rodriguez de Leon. St. Pius V and Holy Family in Lynn, Isaiah Lopez, Amanda Kinville, Felix Rojas, Meli Tatis. St. Raphael Parish, Medford, Peter Gina Lorenzo. Immaculate Conception Marlboro, Nina Murrell, Kirby Kojabashian, Andrea Cronin, Jackie Lima, Annabella Ferreira Valadares, Anna Carolina Ferreira Valadares, Samuel Henrique N. Campos, Isabelle Castillo de Mores, Matthias Felipe Paraguay Coho, Melina Paraguay Coho, Luisa Tamarero Martins, Sophie Bentoncourt O de Lima, Sofia Ferreira Ot Otani, Gabriel Cogo Bomfim, Sofia Barbosa Martins, Stephanie Barbosa Martins, Ron Bo. Gesta da, da Silva, Lucas Bancajas de Silva, Roger Acancio Silvia, Silva. Immaculate Conception Parish, Marlboro, Taylor Stempson. St. Stephen Parish, Spanish Formation, Framingham, Jose A. Aguilar, Fernando T. Chavez, Jaime de Jesus Moraga, Emily G. Valdez, Carla R. Valdez, Kelly A. Zepeda. St. Stephen Parish, English Formation, Framingham. Terry W. Andros, Joanna Yao Lazo, Jonathan Morin, Tia Mastrogianis. Our Lady of the Angels in Hanover, Norwell, and Pembroke. Jeremy Clef Kepner, Hannah Leonard, Heidi Schwabalis. St. James Parish, Haverhill, Herman Isaac Cepeda Coa. All Saints Parish, Haverhill, Alba Maria Gomez Cruz, Hey de Jesus Gomez Cruz, Esvin Serran. St. Mary of the Assumption Parish, Lawrence. Zamara Santos, Mata Iris Bonilla, Yelison Ortega, Chanel Marie Ramos, Moises Reyes, Jessica Torres Pacheco, Eliza Aquavivas, Alicia Aquasvivas, Melanie Almanza, Joel Arias, Miguel Baez Alcantara, Sydney Clifton, Juan Jose Florimán, Alandra Joa Betances, Geraldin Ortega, Bernie E. Reyes Polanco, Violeta Silva Morales, Siana Vittorio Sale, Yerlin Calcano Sanchez. St. Patrick Parish Lawrence, Brianna Alcala, Randy Almanzar, Rizmari Almanzar, Gabri Gabrielli Amaranti, Elena Anciani, Nelson Arguello, Emerline Panegas, Kimdria Bautista, Bessie Beltran, Alfredo Beltran, Sonli Bisano, Caden Blanco, Jaden Blanco, Clarice, Le uh, Clarice Lenny Cleto, Jael Contreras, Aiden Cosme, Callian Cruz, Jeremiah Qu Cuevas Suero, Suero, Jose S Cuevas Suero, Amy Diaz, Yeslin Disla, Marjales Felipe Santiago, Marialis Fontana, 
Devian Fuentes, Aliha Garcia, Jordani Garcia, Jadelis Hernandez, Sofia Jimenez Vargas, Thais Lantigua, Jade Morbin, Yeslia Nunez, Yalexia Nunez, Christopher Pagwe, Carlos Portillo, Julia Pagli Pagliesi, Mario Reyes, Kylie Rivera, Courtney Rivera, Brooklyn Robinson, Alexander Salas, Javian Zal Salas, Sarahi Sanchez, Joseph Santiago, Adriana Sullivan, Sid Sydney Tavares, Ryan Tavares, Rainy Tavares, Violeta Tirado Perez, Jeremia Urena, Brianna Vargas, Nariolan Vargas, Elizar Velasquez. Holy Family Parish, Lowell, John Carlos Cavallo Costa. St. Michael Parish, Lowell, Tabitha Garcharu, William Alsamara. St. Patrick Parish, Lowell, Dimitri Bellamy. St. Matthias Marlborough, Truman Sarazen. Immaculate Conception Parish, Malden Medford, William Dixon. St. Edward the Confessor Parish, Medfield, Mackenzie Croson. Methuen Catholic Collaborative, Paolo Burgos, Adrian Inouye, James Poipolo. Our Lady of Good Counsel Methuen, Nathan Martineau. St. Benedict Parish, Somerville, Mateo Esquizel Rivera, Byron Alexi Guevara, Milady Estefany Guevara, Alexandra Sofia Lopez, Heber Alexander Lopez, Justin Madragia, Isabella Palera, Stephen Palera, Arnaza Unamos. Mary, Queen of Martyrs, Plymouth, Samuel Lee. Our Lady of Grace, Pepperell, Sophie Caldwell. Boston College, St. Ignatius of Loyola, Newton. Rasheen Brown, Elliot Jones, Leon Liu, Diego Lee, Natasha Rodriguez, Andrew Roman, Zachary Schroeder, Eliana Steely Judas, Spencer Thompson, Alessa Turner. Immaculate Conception Church Revere, Yariel Castillo, Esteban Lucona, Danielle Alexander Zuniga Hernandez. Ashley Mayoquin, Ashlyn Chambers. St. Rose of Lima, Boxford, Topsfield. Max Duffield. Sacred Heart, Our Lady Help of Christians, Newton. Thomas Adam Billings. Duke Doe, Carolina Bacamonte. St. John the Baptist and St. Thomas the Apostle, Peabody Catholic Collaborative in Peabody. Faith Keeman. Gong, Jesse Leakey Gong, Holyrood Collaborative North Chelmsford, Grayson Phelps, Mary Jane Nojionga, Treasure Akom, Blitz Valwon, Saint Teresa of Avila, Saint John Chrysostom, West Roxbury, Mave Mave Cosgrove, Saint Mary Waltham, Cindy Gonzalez. St. Michael Parish, North Andover, Mason Cooper Kite, Leela Nahid Fakhar -Dar Darste, Benjamin Breton. Woven Catholic Collaborative, Christine Gratis. Gate of Heaven, St. Bridget, South Boston, Benjamin Kuzma, Brandon Tetro. St. Mary and St. Joseph, Plymouth, Caleb Jacobo, Alexandra Jacobo. 
St. Bonaventure, Plymouth. Mark Kocher, Samuel Lee. Divine Mercy Parish, Quincy. Casey Santos, Jack Blank. Immaculate Conception in Newburyport, Benjamin Houston, Matthew Chagas, Emily Chagas. St. Patrick Parish, Stoneham, Joseph Frank Vanilla Jr., LJ. Our Lady Queen of Peace in Weymouth, Luke DeBona, Lori Freeman, Christina Mullen, Aidan Walsh. St. Catherine of Siena, Norwood, Katzerin Glob. Our Lady Comforter of the Afflicted Waltham, Brendan Telfer. St. Bernadette Parish, Randolph, Jennifer L. Eng, Eric Wu, Tuan Kit Halch. St. Mary's Parish, Holliston, Maxwell Cooper. If any catechumen was not called, please come forward with your sponsor now. God's Holy Church wishes to know whether these catechumens are sufficiently prepared to be enrolled among the elect for the coming celebration of Easter. And so I speak first of all to their godparents. Have, you faithfully, have they faithfully listened to God's word proclaimed by the church? Amen. Have they responded to that word and begun to walk in God's presence? Yes. Have they shared the company of their Christian brothers and sisters and joined with them in prayer? Yes. And now I speak to you, brothers and sisters, in this assembly. Are you ready to support the testimony expressed about these catechumens and include them in your prayer and affection as we move toward Easter? And now, my dear catechumens, I address you. Your own godparents and teachers and this entire community have spoken in your favor. The church, in the name of Christ, accepts their judgment and calls you to the Easter sacraments. Since you have already heard the call of Christ, you must now express your response to that call clearly and in the presence of the whole church. Therefore, do you wish to enter fully into the life of the Church through the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and the Eucharist? I now invite catechists and RCIA directors to hold up your parish or collaborative copy of the Book of the Elect. Your Eminence, these are the names of the catechumens. My dear catechumens, I now declare you to be members of the elect, to be initiated into the sacred mysteries at the next Easter Vigil. is always faithful to those he calls. Now it is your duty as it is ours, both to be faithful to him in return and to strive courageously 
to reach the fullness of truth which your election opens up before you. Godparents, I now ask you to place your hand on the shoulder of the catechumen whom you are receiving into your care. Dear Godparents, you have spoken in favor of these catechumens. Accept them now as chosen in the Lord and continue to sustain them through your loving care and example until they come to share in the sacraments of God's life. I now invite the elect and their godparents to return to your seats.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, in beginning this period of Lent, we look forward to celebrating at Easter the life-giving mysteries of the Lord's suffering, death, and resurrection. These elect whom we bring with us to the Easter sacraments will look to us for an example of Christian renewal. Let us pray to the Lord for them and for ourselves that we may be renewed by one another's efforts and together come to share the joys of Easter. That together we may fruitfully employ this Lenten season to renew ourselves to self-denial and works of holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. That our catechumens may always remember this day of their election and be grateful for the blessings they have received from heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. That their teachers may always convey the beauty of God's word to those who search for it. Let us pray to the Lord. That their godparents and sponsors may be living examples of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. That their families may help them follow the promptings of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. That their community during the Lenten period may grow in charity and be constant in prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who have not yet overcome their hesitation may trust in Christ and come to join our community as our brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of love and power, it is your will to establish everything in Christ and to draw us into his all-embracing love. Guide the elect of your church, strengthen them in their vocation, build them into the kingdom of your Son, and seal them with the spirit of your promise through Christ our Lord. Before giving the final blessing, I just want to say a word of congratulations and welcome to our new elect. Uh, I wish I had the opportunity to meet each of you personally. I'm leaving quickly now for a wake, but know that during these days of Lent, we will be praying for you and looking forward to Holy Week when all of us will be renewed in our baptism. We're so grateful to Patrick Cizak and to all of those who have worked hard to 
prepare for today's celebration, but please know that you are in our thoughts and prayers as we move forward. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May a bountiful blessing, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people, that hope may grow in tribulation, virtue be strengthened in temptation, and eternal reward be assured through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, and may the Lord remain with you forever. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Yeah.